Hello everyone. In this very short video, I want to show you uh, two tricks that I learned about um, using global variables in two of the places that SOLIDWORKS does not seem to be cooperative in letting you uh, use a global variable instead of just typing a number, right? And one of those places is a helix. So if you want to create a helix, let's say here the diameter of the helix is given, and let me change them to millimeters, 10 mils, and the pitch is 2 mils. One of the places that uh, SOLIDWORKS does not allow you to basically uh, provide the uh, variable is the pitch for a helix. And let me show you what I mean by going and creating a helix. So here I go to this plane, I create a circle, and then I provide the diameter for it. But instead of this diameter, I provide D, okay, no problem. But now look, if I want to go here and provide what? The pitch here, which was, remember it was two mil. If I want to say this is equal to pitch, SOLIDWORKS does not like it. I mean, this should change to 2 and work. But look, here you see, it asks you to enter a number. It does not take P as a global variable that you already defined here. It does not like it. Okay, so <laughs> seems like here you cannot really provide the parameter, but there is a workaround for that. So what you need to do is just say fine. I type in 3, but now this is the trick that you can do. So here you uh, click on this one time, and then it shows you the parameters that you define for the helix, right? The uh, initial angle, the pitch, the uh, total length, which is the revolution times the pitch. And so that's your pitch here, three. So you can right click on here and then say link a value to it. Then go here and use one of the parameters, which is P in this case, and you see it changed to two. And so now it's two. So now if I go ahead and change this guy to, let's say, five mil, right, then um, it should be okay taking it from me. You see here, automatically updated. So that's one of the places that I found that SOLIDWORKS you can basically get around. Another place that uh, SOLIDWORKS is not super cooperative is when you um, want to, let's say, rotate a feature. So uh, let me show you what I mean by that. So here, uh, a sketch entity, right? So um, what I need to do is go ahead on one of these planes and let's say create a sketch and then what I want to do is I want to uh, pattern that sketch so let's say anything let's say you want to create a line like this and then you want to do a circular pattern of this line so you go here to circular pattern and you want to repeat this guy about point uh, O which is the origin and here you want to uh, use the global variable that you had this guy this n you want to repeat it six times but here you see if i go ahead and say this is equal to it doesn't like it and if i just say n again it doesn't like it it is clearly asking me to enter a number here so it does not gonna accept n or anything from me so here i just go ahead with some number just whatever type something Right, and then here that number is shown for you, this guy. This three is shown, right? So now, again, you should be able to what? Use this uh, three and again, link a value to it. So now I link it to N, okay? And then look here, you see, you got six of that. So if, when you create a command, if it can, uh, basically leave a trace of itself a trace of the parameters that uh, it used if it can leave those in the um, uh, sketch or in the part design or anywhere right then you can right click on them and link a value to them that's one of the ways that you can kind of force it to take a parameter from you right 
and uh, you always want to make sure you're under annotation and uh, you have this guy always turned on show reference dimensions okay and if you're in 3d it doesn't hurt to add also show feature dimensions as well because it allows you to as i said get around some of these uh, problematic areas for parametric design Hopefully this uh, video was useful to you and you can use this for your parametric design of parts. Thank you.